Alright guys, so what we are doing here is we are going to make a username, we are going to make a password and then we are going to get that user account and name activated. That way the user can log into Active Directory um, during their first day at work and um, this is all going to be done not in, um, not in Active Directory um, users and computers but we are going to do it in PowerShell. I'm going to show you guys how to get it done in PowerShell that way um, it's um, and also PowerShell is also faster and easier if you know how to get it done in light. So to get this um, task done and complete what you need to do is so the first thing you need to, uh, the first thing you need to really do here is type new hyphen ad user and then the username which I want to type is at aster for at aster 7 enter okay and then the next thing that had, uh, needs to happen here is I'm going to type get hyphen ad user and then type in the username at aster Seven. So this shows me where this um, username is located at. This is the path of where um, the username is at. It, uh, it shows me that the account is not activated right now. It also shows me the username and that this user is a user. The, this account is, is a regular user, not an admin user or, or something else. So the next step here is I'm going to go ahead and set the password for this user. That way when they log in, they also have a password that they can use to get into Active Directory. So for that to happen is we need to type set hyphen ad account ad account password enter and then right here identity um, just means that um, the username so which specific user are we wanting to um, um, set the password for that's what that means so for me it's gonna be at aster 7 enter so since this account is a new account it's a brand new account there isn't um, like a password attached to it before so I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK with um, spacing. So type in nothing on the first um, the first time you set a password. Type in nothing on the first try, and then on the second try, that's when you want to type in the actual password. And then OK, and then one more time. And then okay so um, now that that password is set what we need to do or the next step here is really to get that account activated for the user to log into next time that they, they choose to log into their new brand new setup account so to get that started you want to type in enabled hyphen ad account and then space hyphen identity and then space the username at Astro for me seven I'm sure seven yes so press in enter and that necessarily um, tells uh, PowerShell to go ahead and activate that account so now what we need to do is type in get hyphen ad user and then type in my username which is going to be at aster 7 and then space property and then space enabled 
make sure you have the D on it and then enter. So that really solidified the um, PowerShell to activate that account for the user saying, okay, this account is good to go for this user to log into. You can see the account path, the account is um, good to go. The account, it says good to go right here. It says true. You can see up here, it set, it set false. And then from here, if, I, if you were to go to um, Active Directory users and computers, Using computers right here, you can see if you if I were to go to users. Okay, give me let's go to the server manager tools, computers, users and computers. All right, in users, you can see that we do have that account here. Aster at Aster Seven, um, that is the account we we went ahead and made. Um, with that said, that is how you um, add a user and activate the account and set a password in Windows Server using PowerShell. Um, so if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment the questions down below. And I will also be posting um, more videos in the future um, regarding any other topics you guys might have so if you have a question post it down if you have a topic you want me to um, go ahead and talk about post it down and I will, I, I'll be posting something new every week or so for you guys all right guys I want to thank you all for watching and making it this far if this is your first time I just want to say keep learning it does get easier and I hope I see you guys in the next video take care and keep learning. Bye.